little bit's happened since I last posted, but I want to start off by saying that I've been noticing how a lot of the small wins and things I'm doing each day are snowballing into something bigger. I, when I was outside on my walk, I was walking up the same bang I walk up every single day and just noticing how much easier it is and how I'm not out of breath, how much fitter I feel uh, cardio wise. Um, and that's a good thing and it's the same with the eating as well like I'm noticing how I'm filling out a bit more and obviously building muscle in my legs mainly from walking and it's just amazing how how much easier things are things are still really difficult I'm not gonna lie Um, things have happened which I'll get into soon Um, but I, I have noticed how those little wins are paying off and that's a good thing it's something I'm trying to acknowledge I can't really say I appreciate it because feelings aren't in the brain um but that is something that but I'm going to celebrate and mention on here like even though I, it's the little things but I'll just add enough and yeah I'm pleased I'm pleased um especially with the eating and weight stuff still really underweight it's like a gradual thing um but i'm doing doing it it's a win I'm, I'm a different person to who i was a year ago i feel like i made some progress in some ways in many ways um i feel like i look totally different maybe it doesn't show in the videos but to myself i feel like i i, I am a different person um yeah and in terms of bad things that have been happening i've had some days where especially lately where the depression's ramped up like i notice when i'm lying in bed and i'm like flicking through netflix on disney plus and i'm like just totally disinterested in in anything like usually i can find something i want to watch and kind of sit through it and keep us distracted but like it was that kind of thing where it's like nothing's gonna do anything for us right now nothing's gonna hold me attention I can't be arsed and I just want to sleep like the last past few days I've just wanted to sleep all the time like I just couldn't be arsed with life but I've still pushed myself to go outside and do things and when I'm outside on my walks like sometimes I'll bump into my neighbours um, and I'm just so awkward like I don't know what to say I'm, I walk next to them quietly if we like happen to be walking down the street at the same time like We'll ask us questions and I'll answer them, but I just feel very robotic and out of touch. Like, it's very obvious how out of this world I am. Like, my brain just isn't there. Um, the dissociation is the cause of that. Uh, even when I had bad anxiety and whatnot, I could at least make myself seem normal. Uh, just the burnout and dissociation has just totally stopped us from being able to kind of mask and act normal um, and that's frustrating because the urge to just stay inside and become borderline agoraphobic again is very intense when I feel like I'm messing up social interactions and really bothers us and gets in my head and frustrates us um, and it's very hard to not go backwards but yeah I still go out every day um, I'm pushing through it just makes life uncomfortable and in my head it's like is this worth it I can't be bored I just want to stay in and avoid all these awkward interactions but I know that isn't the right thing to do do um because in real life I'm not this person like this is probably the most authentic I am like this is a real me but it just doesn't come out in real life like uh, there's too much awkwardness and anxiety and pressure when I'm next to a real human being but when it's a camera and I'm in my nice little safe place it's so easy just to talk and be myself um and again that's something that bothers is that I can't be this person you know um but yeah that's what's happened in terms of that stuff um I was in A&E on bank holiday Monday so a few days ago uh really bad chest pain um like a nine I've had 40 hours of tattoos on my arms 40 hour sessions of tattoos eight hour sessions each time not using numbing cream until the last two hours of each session sit through this fine but the pain in my chest was like a nine um 
and it was when I was breathing and it was getting worse all down my back and I hadn't pulled a muscle or anything like that. So I went to A&E, &E. um, we done blood tests, two blood tests because one of my blood markers for heart damage was slightly elevated but it, was, it turned out fine. Um, done an ECG, chest x-ray, um, that was all fine as well so I got sent home. Um, it's frustrating that that happens, like usually I can sit through pain because my doctor says I have this thing with inflammation in my chest where I get pains but it's normally on the right side, this was the left side. Um, so hence where I went to a because it, it lasted like three hours and the pain wasn't getting any better so I yeah, had to go to a and &E, get it checked. Um, so that's my second visit since the end of March so yeah it's not ideal but at least everything's fine like the ECG and everything was great but even check me cholesterol so that means I can do a video about mirtazapine because that's something I want to check my cholesterol was pretty much fine it was yeah healthy um so yeah that got done um it just it's awful having to go to a and &E. like, I feel like a total idiot when I go and everything's fine but yeah I wasn't even super anxious about it like I was stressed but I, my anxiety wasn't like my chest was fine I wasn't feeling anxiety in my chest I wasn't having a panic attack I was just stressed like mainly thoughts wise like this could be heart issues because I had been feeling breathless a few days before but my diet had been a bit dodgy from my stomach issues so um yeah not ideal but it's happened I got through it and I'm feeling somewhat okay now um, obviously the depression's a bit annoying but what can you do um yeah i think that's everything that i wanted to cover really um thought i'd do an update because i've been slacking on the youtube lately um i guess the urge to not talk has been intense lately um i've even deactivated my tiktok in case anyone's wondering why that's disappeared just scrolling through tiktok i got sick of my for you page being so depressing and i was noticing it was making us feel even worse so um, i had deactivated because even just logging out wasn't enough to keep us away from it so i deactivated it so it's more hassle if i want to get it back um helps us not get it back if that makes sense um i will activate it again at some point all my content is still there um and i'll do an update i just don't want to go anywhere and yeah tiktok now for the minute because like I say, my head's not been in the right place lately. Um, and it was having a negative effect on us, all the crap. And all the bloody people trying to sell things to you on, on there. Like, my For You page was full of that. I couldn't be bothered with that either. Um, yeah, I hope you're all doing kushti. And I'll catch you in the next video, which will probably be a summary of Mertazapine or a vlog. I need to do a vlog soon. I enjoy doing those, and it's been a while. Yeah, catch you later.